Hello guys, welcome back with another video. Uh, it's been a while, I haven't traveled, so today is the day. I'm traveling very, very far. Um, of course, I'm driving again. Uh, very long drive. It's, it might be six to eight hours drive. Uh, I'm going to take you over there and I'll show you um, within the roads and um, wherever I stop by, okay? And um, our plan is to go to New Orleans. Uh, Pensacola Hello guys um Mogadi Maiseke. Now uh, we have 7 hours 49 minutes of drive. I know it's a very, very long drive. Uh, hopefully, I can make it straightforward. I know I have to go to the beach. I have to go to the beach. This is my first time in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, 7 hours 49 minutes of drive. You can see on the map here. 7 hours 49 minutes. 530 miles and we're gonna reach there at 5.34 p.m. Right now it's 9.45 a.m. So
Alright guys, oil it uh, uh, We are at the gas station uh, filling up the uh, gas tank. I know. And uh, one hour and some minutes uh, drive voice again. And we still have, I don't know if you can see it here, six hour nine minutes left. 419 miles to go I know it's very very long drive but I will make it I will make it uh, probably we're gonna stop by in the next destination as well but I will try not to do that so that we can reach to the destination as soon as possible but I might have to do one more time because I need to fill more gas it's 419 miles and my car will just give 400 some change, I guess. All right, I'll update you. I'll show you the way uh, where we are going. Driving from Texas to Louisiana. Uh, that's the another state uh, right by Texas. Uh, so I think, yeah, uh, by looking at the GPS, this is the uh, border of Louisiana and Texas. Let me show you from here. Yeah, you can see that board, it says Louisiana State Line. So this is the Louisiana border. And there's also a blue board, it says welcome to Louisiana. Louisiana, ben, ben, venue in Louisiana. Okay, that's in Spanish, I guess. Keep Louisiana beautiful, yes. We have arrived, Louisiana. However, there is still five hours left. There is still five hours left to reach our destination. It's a little bit slow down here. Um, we are, um, I would say, not in, not even a half away. Uh, we still have five hours, two minutes left to reach our destination. Uh, 339 miles left to drive. Um, the time is 5:56 p.m. Of course, because we stopped uh, at gas station. That's why our time went up but that's okay our target is to reach by seven o'clock uh, even if we stop uh, at the next gas station to fill up the gas watch this all greeneries it's very nice it's a little bit slow down here i don't know what's going on you can see on the map uh, there's a red lines in there that means there's a traffic Alright guys, uh, it's next stop. 
uh, where I gotta uh, fill up the tank. Uh, especially I stopped here for a bathroom. Um, however, this is also a good time to fill up my tank as well. Uh, we still have two hours, 34 minutes left. Uh, 155 miles to go for the destination and it says 6.08 p.m. However, my target is 7 p.m. Uh, because stop karta karti time to jan chan taina all right guys gas also again it's a mile 12 gallon gas hale more than 12 gallon and i paid 33 dollars ab yaha cha alikati cheaper cha sa sa gas alikati sasta cha let's see how much it gonna cost me okay all right uh, let me show you this 2 hours 34 minute left This is a pilot, pilot gas station. And uh, we have a PJ Fresh and Subway right there. Let me see what's gonna be my total here. Uh, it's $16, 703 gallon. I usually use uh, regular gas. You can see the price, two thirty-five. So it says twenty-four dollars, ten gallon. Let me see if I can fill more. Let me make, make that fifty. Twenty-four fifty. Sorry, twenty-four fifty ten gallon. Uh, it's gonna give me a receipt here. Let's click yes. Alright, there's no receipt. There's no paper, so there's no receipt. Alright guys, I think this will be my last stop. Um, we have 2 hours 34 minutes left. Uh, 6.18 p.m. Right now it's 3.45 p.m. Uh, hopefully I can reach... Uh, at the same time, hope there's no traffic or, or anything like that. Um, I'll keep you posted, okay? Keep watching. But it's Frank and Sal Bridge. Yeah, it's pretty uh, awesome on the other side of the... Over here there too. It's a big uh, lake I guess, yeah. Look at the views man. It's all greeneries. left um, and it's going to be uh, 83 more miles and the time will be 624 uh, currently it's 504 and this is another bridge uh, in Louisiana let me see what it's called um, I don't know, maybe I missed the name okay it's going to be it's Horace Wilkinson bridge and this is uh, also a Mississippi River right here Mississippi River Wow there's a cargo boat cargo ship I guess look at the downtown I guess that's a downtown I guess yeah. over there you see that that's a downtown Yeah, 
downtown. We're going to downtown. Exit New Orleans Hammond. Alright, finally we are almost there. 51 minutes left, 46 miles, and the time is 6.28 p.m. So, hopefully we will reach soon. Uh, it's getting a little bit shadowy. It's getting a little bit shadowy. Alright guys, we have just arrived to New Orleans. As you can see, um, very small, small building, all historic building. There are so many people there. It's too crowded right now and a lot of, a lot of traffics. Um, we will show you, I will show you um, more videos. Um, then you can see all the people around there and all the cars. Wow, it was so crazy, crazy over there. It's around the clock, a nightlife, a vibrant live music scene, and spicy, singular cuisine reflecting its history as a melting pot of French, African, and American cultures. Embodying its festive spirit is Mardi Gras, the late winter carnival famed for rocks, custom parades, and street parties. Armstrong Park. So this park is 32 acre park located in neighborhood of New Orleans Just across Rampart Street from the French Quarter in 1960 a controversial urban renewal project level a substantial portion of the dream neighborhood adjacent to Congo Square so in New Orleans, with over 130 festivals a year, there's a celebration for everything and everyone. With dozens and dozens of festivals a year honoring everything from pop music and pop boys to tomatoes and in Tennessee Williams, the city offers visitors an array of colorful events most every weekend.
So, Louis Armstrong Park was home to the first New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival in 1970. While the festival has moved to the larger space of New Orleans fairgrounds, Armstrong Park has more recently been the home of many other events, including the Jazz in the Park, free concert series, the Dream Creole Gumbo Fest, and the Louisiana Cajun and Zydeco Festival. Monuments include a 12-foot statue of Louis Armstrong by Elizabeth Catalet, a bust of Sidney Bechet, and depiction of Buddy Bolden. Alright guys, we are going back to Hotel Toa. We're going to enjoy here for a moment. Finally, we have arrived at, at the main nightlife attraction of New Orleans, which is Bourbon Street. So this street, you can see a lot of a lot of people are here. Um, you can see that people are drinking, walking, and like. And this is a historic street in the heart of the French Quarter of New Orleans. So the extending 13 blocks from Canal Street to Esplanade Avenue. Bourbon Street is a famous for its many bars and strip clubs. So with 17.74 million visitors in 2017 alone, wow, that's a lot. So New Orleans depends on Bourbon Street as a main tourist attraction. That's why we went there to see how Bourbon Street looks like. So tourist numbers have been growing yearly after the devastation of Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and the city has successfully rebuilt its tourist base for millions of visitors each year. Bourbon Street provides a rich insight into New Orleans past so you can see a lot of people's bars, the strip club, restaurants so you can really enjoy the light crowdness you know as you can see the crowdy place right okay let me show you more footage. During the day, Bourbon Street comes alive at night, particularly during the French Quarter's many festivals. Most famous of these is the annual Mardi Gras celebration, when the street team with thousands of people. Local open containers laws allow drinking alcoholic beverages on the Quarter's streets. Popular drinks include the Hurricane Cocktail, the Resurrection Cocktail, the Hand Grenade, and so-called Huge Ass Beers. A large plastic cup of draft beer marketed to tourists at a low price. The most heavily visited section of Bourbon Street is Upper Bourbon Street, 
toward Cannon Street and an eight block section of visitor attractions, including bars, restaurants, souvenir shops, and strip clubs. In the 21st century, Bourbon Street is the home of New Orleans musical Legends Park, a free outdoor venue for live jazz performances. The park has sculptures and other tributes to the city legendary music personalities. Most of the bars are located in the central section of Bourbon. Popular spots include Pat O'Brien's, Johnny White's A Famous Door, Spirits on Bourbon, Channing Tatum's Sands and Signers, Razu and the Cat's Meow. Marie Laviu's House of Voodoo is located at the corner of St. Anne Street. Hey guys, uh, finally we are at hotel. Uh, I'm so tired. It's uh, four. It's ten forty-two. It's not too late. Um, so uh, I'm at hotel right now, um, feeling so relaxed. Dere anand nai nai kacha. Dere inu pare walk on pare. It was so fun. Uh, it's like mini Vegas, uh, where you can drink. And this is what uh, I bought. It's a fish ball. Um, Ten dollar. I'll say cheaper one um, and if you can tip if you can't tip you cannot party in Bourbon Street one and I would say like a time bit I also maybe I'll post it here, here right now check it out I was my kick is how you could have the reveal number over now they can know it's a it's an orange or red uh, drink with bunch of ice on it so uh, let's uh, let's see my room okay uh, it's just a one bedroom one room and uh, it's a courtyard uh, married hotel I'll show you guys uh, this is the uh, the front door let's lock the door and when you come inside you will see this uh, so on this side you have a sink over here yeah sink over here uh, this is it's just it's not a gold okay it's a fake and this is a bathroom uh, bathtub this side toilet and there's a closet this side where you can hang your stuff. There's an iron if you need to iron your clothes. Uh, there's a blanket if you need extra blanket. And there's a hair dryer. Okay. So I'll show you one by one. And this is another mirror. And so this is the full bed. You can see full I mean this is a queen this is a king bed I guess yeah this is a king bed where we have one couch here and we have here office room with the table and chair and one TV over there uh, and all the outlets over here has um, outlet as well as the USB charging so it only it will only charge your um, device from USB so uh, and here is a like mini coffee station with uh, some coffee in here so you can make your own coffee and there's a trash can right here mainly trash can and all the lamps got outlet too here uh, power switch and uh, there is a drawer here you can see the drawer uh, 
and there is another light and with the charging port including USB port as well you have a phone you have a drawer there's a book inside the drawer if you want to read the book and uh, this side the cool thing uh, there's a there's no drawer because uh, this is facing other side uh, same thing charging port and one cool thing is you got a alarm clock here uh, built in bluetooth where you can play your music and everything including charging port uh, as well as the usb port and the volume up and down key and let me show you another cool part uh, this is a couch and the ottoman here i don't know and there is a table as well coffee table i guess this is the coffee table let me show you I think you can sleep on this bed too. You can make this bed as a sleeping bed too. But I'll, I'll make that and show you later. And let's see another cool part. There's a window right here where you can see downstairs. It's a New Orleans uh, downtown. You can see bar downstairs. People are there okay all the cars are moving so it's a big window uh, it's really good to open the window and watch outside however since my light is on I don't want to open it or I can just just put this one okay. you can either put the uh, the dark shades a dark curtain or just the regular or the one curtain. All right, let me show you the couch. So, uh, let's see. I don't know how this couch will work, but it looks like you can make a bed. You can make bed bed for this couch, okay? Let's see how this works. It looks like there is a sofa bed in here. So basically you would open it up and bring that over here like that. And there we go. So it's a extra twin bed. Um, so it's extra extra twin bed here you got cool cool stuff so basically two or three people can sleep if you are comfortable with each other and there is a one twin bed I think it's twin bed yeah that's a king bed twin bed uh, so however you like so it's simple just pull this bar and fold this and make sure you fold this that way and then lift this bar and since it goes inside that space isn't that nice just pull it just pull it like this it's so fun it's a cool it's a cool couch Nobody expect you to have a couch like this. When you see the style of the couch, nobody expect you have a you have a couch like this, okay? There we go. And you also have a pillow if you want to sleep in there. And there's an ottoman. Ottoman right there. And there is a table right there, a coffee table. Alright. All right. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, tomorrow we have a different plan. I'll show you tomorrow as well. Um, and that's all for today. Thank you so much. And please do like, comment, and subscribe my channel. Uh, and make sure you comment and hit that share button and share my video to everybody. Thank you for being my family.